Over here in the folder pane, I want to show you how you can create, move, copy, and delete these folders. And when I show you here, down below in the navigation pane, the mail items will also apply when it comes to creating, deleting, moving, and copying your calendar, your contacts, tasks, and so on. And so you can see all these folders here in my calendar. I just have one calendar here, one folder. So if I want additional calendars, I'd have to create additional folders here. Like if I want a separate calendar from the base one that's about my personal appointments and meetings, I could go ahead and do that like I did for my contacts. There's the base contact folder. I created another contact folder and named it personal so I can keep my personal contacts separate from my business. So let's go ahead and go back to the mail items and let's create a new folder. Let's say that I get a bunch of email messages about new products that are coming out from our company and I want to be able to store those into a separate folder than just sitting in my inbox or deleting them as it were. So to create that new folder I can do it one of a couple of ways. I can either come up here and right click on the Outlook data file and go down to new folder and the reason why I'm right clicking on the Outlook data file as opposed to any of these other folders that when I right click I also get the option to create a new folder is because when I do it to one of these folders down below it puts it in as a subfolder to that folder. So if I want to create a folder at the same level as all these others I want to right click on the Outlook data file and so what that means is that all these folders are a subfolder to the data file. So let me right click there, go down to new folder, opens up a little box, just start typing, hit enter, sorted alphabetically, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, new products. Great. So that's one way to create a folder. If I right clicked on new products and then came up and clicked on new folder, it would open it up and you can see how that name is indented below the new products folder. So whatever I type in there, it's going to add it as a subfolder to that. If I hit the escape key and don't type in anything, it backs me out of that. Now I can create a new folder that way by right clicking or I can come up here and click on the folder tab, go to the new group, and there you go, new folder. Now before I do that, let me make sure that I select the folder that I want to add a folder to as a subfolder. Or if I want to at the same level as all these others, select Outlook data file. But let me go down to New Products and come back up here and click on New Folder. Now when I do it this way, it's going to give me some options than just typing in the name. So maybe I want to organize them by colors, these new products. So I got a subfolder called Colors and I can have a bunch of subfolders to the colors like separating them by red, green, blue, in any case, colors. Then down below it says the folder contains what? By default, I'm in the mail items, so it's going to be mail and post items. I could change that and choose something else. So if I choose contact items, that would apply to the contacts items folder. So I could select that. So I'm just going to leave it as is, mail and post items. So you got the other items that are there as well, as you see in the navigation pane, but also what you see over here in the folder pane. So let me make sure I come down here and say that I want to create colors with email messages and post items as a subfolder to the new products folder and click OK. Get that little triangle that turns it down and there it is. You can collapse it so if you get a bunch of, well, when you expand it, and you got a subfolder within a subfolder within a subfolder and it's just taking up a lot of valuable real estate over here in your folder pane, you can collapse it and that makes it nice. Now once you know how to create your folders, the other options you get, like when you right click, which is easiest for me, to come up here and let's do copy the folder, then it is to, well, you can come up here on the folder tab to the actions group to copy and of course move, delete, rename. You get all those options when you right click so that way if I'm not on the folder tab, I don't have to make the extra jump to get to it. I can just right click and there we go. It's a lot easier here, at least it is for me. And when I select copy folder, it'll copy the folder, the contents of the folder, including other subfolders. So it says, where do you want to put this folder that you're copying from that you have selected over here into over here? Well, we can do it to the drafts and click okie dokie. And let's come over here to the drafts, expand it, new products, expand that. It's subfolder colors. Great. Okay, next, let's go ahead and let's delete this. You can delete the subfolder, you can delete the subfolder to the folder here, which will delete its subfolder. Just whatever you want to delete, right click on that and it'll delete it at that level and anything within it or below it in this case and go down to delete folder. 
Are you sure? Because it'll move it to the deleted items folder. Say yes. And it moves it over here. Now when I click on deleted items folder, it doesn't show the folders within that folder. It only shows the actual messages, tasks, and other files, but not folders. So how do I find out about this? If it's in here, click on the triangle, and it's below that because it's, well, subfolder to that folder, but in the deleted items folder. So you can expand that, and well, there you go. So if you want to get rid of it permanently from your deleted items folder, because remember that's a holding tank. When you delete something for the first time, it puts it here. When you come in here and delete it, it totally deletes it. It doesn't move it anywhere else. So just right click on it and go up to delete. Are you sure? Yes. And it's gone. So you don't have any little triangles down below. Let's go ahead and click on it to expand and how about if you want to move these folders around? Like let's say colors is no longer a subfolder to new products. Maybe you want to move that to the drafts or any other folder. But when it comes to moving folders, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can, of course, right click on it and go up to move folder and then select another folder to move it to like the drafts and click OK. Although for me, I guess you could put it there if the folder actually is in draft mode. Maybe I'm trying to decide whether between it's plural, colors, or just singular, color. And then the other way you can move it is you can just click and hold it and drag it and put it right on top of the folder that you want to move it right to as a subfolder, new products, let go. Are you sure you want to move it? Yes. And it's back to where it was, colors as a subfolder to new products. And speaking of which, if I decided I don't want it plural, I want it singular, to rename these folders, give it a right click, go up to rename, left click, and then it opens up the box, just click within it, hit the backspace key, type in some text, or in this case I'm deleting the S, hit enter, and there we go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.